don't walk. <clears throat> She's being grumpy. Hi guys, welcome back. It is a brand new weekend, and it is the last weekend of the PBA Central Regional Tour this year, this year, this weekend, this year, this weekend. Here we go. This weekend, we are going to be in Anderson, Indiana, and yes, last regional of the 2023 season. This is going to be this is going to be a pretty big stop for me. Uh, currently, we are sitting fourth in overall points for the Central Regional Tour. I am sitting second overall for points towards the RPI, although that doesn't matter because my spots are already locked up. It does matter, however, for uh, the paid hotel spot in Vegas. I'm pretty sure they said the top two um, get a free hotel stay while we're out there. It might be top three, but we're going to just say top two to give something to shoot for. I'm pretty sure Sam DeWitt and I are only like five points separated yeah we're only five points apart so really this weekend it's whoever finishes higher is going to get the top seed going into the rpi and guaranteed a free hotel stay um other than that gonna be a good weekend going back down to what's the name of this place championship lanes i'm pretty sure another dave small center great great host there um i've made match play there the past two years and actually both years i put together a pretty solid run of match play so uh this year we're going to be on bear which is 42 feet um this is the same pattern we bowled on bluffton but they will not play the same i promise you that uh i'm looking forward to it i really am i think uh things are really starting to click we're going to go and practice here we're actually at the bowling alley right now we're going to go in and practice and there's a couple things I need to work on, push away uh, and release. Those are only really the two things that I feel need to be sharpened up for the weekend. Other than that, um, swing feels good. Uh, been posting a lot of shots, honestly. Other than just putting some tape in my spare ball, my spare shooting feels good. I'm ready for a good weekend. We got some uh, good preparation up this week with lifting, running, and, and practice. So, ready to go compete. So... Hopefully uh, she doesn't upset me more and I have to make her walk. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. Let's go bowl. All right. So the goal is practice session. Working getting the ball into the lane. Get the trajectory off my hand going down so hitting up on it. We want to get that ball into the slot better off the push away. Allow it to be in the better position, to be in a better position at the top of the swing. And hopefully because if I get it to the better position at the top, I'm able to get my hand in the right position at the bottom and get this releasing fixed. So hopefully the fixing of the push away and the start of the swing will help with the direction and release. So that's that's the plan today. And uh, make shots. So let's see if we can't put ourselves in a good mental space heading into the weekend with a good practice session here. Pretty good right there. And of course the four nines. I'm telling you guys, fair shooting's feeling good. A little grabby. A little grabby. That's really good. Yeah, that's really good. Not bad right there. That is pretty good. All right, we're one for one on splits today. Can we still bat a thousand? Maybe. Oh, baby. That's really good. That is really good. Probably should move, but I'm being stubborn, so. We'll see. A little two and one. That's pretty good. All right, so things are feeling good. Um, I'm getting the ball into the slot really well at the bottom, or uh, my push away. I'm getting it to fall in really well. It's in good location behind me. I can feel it really well. Uh, the swing is nice and crisp. Um, trajectory off my hand feels really good. I feel like the ball is coming off my hand going down instead of coming up. Uh, I still have a tendency to grab it, but those are fewer and fewer the more we practice. But right now, what I'm gonna work on is something I've been struggling with the most, and that is my release when I get really far left. I'm having problems getting my thumb to go over the ball and uh, getting the ball to 
spin more this way. I uh, don't know if that's more tilt or axis or what may have you, but getting the ball to spin more this way to allow it to create more room down lane. Um, a lot of it has to do with just my swing getting a little too steep. And what happens is, is I get to the bottom and my thumb just goes dead over the ball and I can't, can't get around it. So let's take a game or two here. Um, I mean, I kind of worn this pair pretty well. So let's take a game or two here and let's just focus on getting that thumb over the top of the ball, creating some room to miss uh, with some angles, but uh, also getting the ball to continue down lane. So. Well, I would say we got that one to continue. <laughs> Oh, that was a little forward. What I'm thinking about doing here at the bottom, what I'm trying to envision my mind is opening a doorknob with your hand. Like you're opening a doorknob. Um, I'm pretty sure Chris, Chris Prather told me that one. A uh, big shout out to him. He's a big inspiration to why my physical game has turned into what it has. So thank you, Chris Prather. But uh, really got to focus on getting this thumb over the ball here at the bottom. Not bad. Yeah, that was pretty good. Can't beat that. Oh, that's really good right there. Yeah. Yeah, and there's there's the miss, the big tug at the bottom. Thumb goes up, arm goes left, and everything just... That's what we're trying to avoid. We need that hand to get around it and open up this way and let the ball project right off my hand. That's, that's the miss we're trying to avoid right there because now I have to pick up a split. Granted, it's a baby split, but it's a split I still don't want to pick up. So. That's why. All right, so we haven't made we haven't made stellar progress today, but you know we can't stay here all night. We still got a bull tomorrow, but let's uh let's end on a let's end on three in a row here. Like we're close to that ten frame. We need three in the three in the tenth here to make match play. Let's let's make some shots here. Come on. There's one. Not bad. Ball salt pretty early though. That's really good. That's really good. Come on. One more. All right, kid. This shot is for the U.S. Masters Championship of the entire free world. Make a good one. Let's go to Anderson, baby. All right, well, uh, practice went not half bad. Um, you're always searching for perfection, so I'm not going to say it felt perfect, but it uh, wasn't bad. We're ready for tomorrow, it, as ready as we can be. Um, yeah, just got to make sure I keep the swing behind me and make sure that thumb, just got to make sure I don't grab it. So. Now for the rest of the night, we are actually heading down to a couple of our friends who live, uh, I don't know, about 40 minutes south of us. Um, and we're gonna stay there tonight because that gives us a good head start going down to Anderson. So a uh, you know a two hour drive turns into uh, just over an hour. So that's that's kind of nice. And uh, we're very grateful for them and uh, their, their hospitality for this weekend. So we're actually gonna go hang out with them for a little bit. Austin and I are gonna go lift and her and Ari are gonna go spend money because <laughs> because that's what they enjoy doing. So, we're going to enjoy the rest of our night. Uh, I don't know. Try not to overthink tomorrow too much. Get ready to go in and make some shots. Hopefully get a good night rest because it will be another early rise. And uh, let's go knock down some pins. Let's go get some points and put ourselves in a good spot for the RPI.
good morning. <laughs> well, good morning. Um, it's early. It's uh, 6.38, and we woke up at about uh, 3.45 this morning to come on down here to Anderson. Um, I'll be honest with you guys, I'm really tired. Uh, yeah, I didn't really sleep the best last night, but that's okay. Bless you, but that's okay. We'll make we'll make do. We always do. Um, championship lanes. That's where we're at today. It's right behind me. I don't know if y'all can see it. I just take my word for it. It's right behind us. Forty-one foot bear. Um, big day when it comes to points and uh, uh, solidifying my top two here for the uh, hotel rooms in Vegas. That's uh, be a big accomplishment. Um, yeah, looking forward to today. Looking forward to competing. It's the last one of the year. Uh, I just need to go get some caffeine or something in me. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted. Oh, by the way, thanks, Austin. Um, my buddy Austin and I worked out last night, and we I went way too hard to the gym. So I kind of hurt this morning. That's my own stupidity, but I'm going to blame it on him. So, right? Right. Cool. All right. So uh, we're going to go in and start taking stuff in. Uh, I'm pretty sure I got to put a little bit of surface on some stuff. Uh, just kind of freshen it up. And I think I have one grip change I need to get done. But I'm not 100% sure on that. But uh, yeah, let's get this day started. Let's, uh, let's try to wake up a little bit because boy, oh boy, am I tired. And let's go have some fun today. Knock down some pins and uh, oh. Whoops. And see where we end up at the end of the day. You ready to bowl? I'm not bowling. She says she's not bowling, but I think I'm going to tag her in about game six if things go south. All right, so here in practice, I wasn't really thinking about much. I'll be honest with you guys, I kind of went too hard in the gym the night before with my buddy Austin, you know, with the whole ego thing, you gotta go all out when you're with your buddies, and my back was as stiff as a two by four. It, it was bad. So here in practice, I was really just trying to get my limbs to loosen up. Um, they were tough, they were pretty tight. Uh, I didn't really have a look anywhere on the lane, so I decided just to play them straight to start, because you know, I figured you take the big number out of play that way. I was mistaken. <laughs> I actually got off to a really slow start here. But then, just like I did in Bluffton, if you guys watch that video, I get left really quick. I open them up, and uh, that's where I proceed to go the rest of the day. But really, in, in these you know 12 minutes of practice, it was just, let's get this back loosened up so we can go out and compete today. But mentally, I was ready, and uh, honestly, I was just excited to go out and compete again. So let's get to it.
All right, let's have a quick recap here because we're actually about to start. Um, that was rough. That was really bad. Um, just to keep a long story short, I bowled awful. Um, the only thing that really kept me in it was just my bowling ball striking when I throw it bad. Um, I, I'm really disappointed because I probably could have gone 250 over today. They were just, they, they kind of fed into what I do and I just didn't execute it all because uh, I'm a dum dum. Uh, and she let me know too. So, uh, <laughs> don't give me attitude. Anyways, uh, we're about to go in for match play. I finished, I think I said this, I finished, bless you, I finished seventh overall. I don't actually know who I'm bowling first round. Um, the game plan for match play, honestly, I don't I don't actually know because I didn't really have a good look on fresh. Uh, my look really came in about game four or five. Um, so I don't, I don't really know what I'm going to do. Probably throw some surface on some urethane stuff and, you know, try to just shot make them to death or if i can get something that looks good left uh we'll go we'll go that direction too so we'll, we'll see but we got to get in there get taped up get ready to go again and uh hopefully put together a solid day here because we're now locked in number one seed for uh the rpi uh standings i went around sam dewitt so i'm sitting first now for the central region which is cool obviously i'm still currently third behind graham and ej so i actually had the opportunity to catch ej today so let's uh let's go put together a solid performance see where we end up and uh, if we win, she gets a donut. She loves donuts, and I do too. So let's go make that happen. So in round one of match play here, we have the round of 12. And these are best of three matches, and the winners will advance to the round of eight. My first round opponent is Billy Hibbard. And heading into this match, I just hit the refresh button. I was trying to forget about qualifying so fast, and... Uh, it was just a very lackluster eight games of qualifying. So coming to this, I was ready for a fresh start and a clean slate. I came in with an open mind when it came to lane play. I knew that in qualifying, my look playing straighter wasn't the best. However, every time they re-oil, uh, they tend to get flatter and tighter. So I just knew that that could be an option if they did, which they did. And in this first match here against Billy, I actually had a really good look with the tank combat. I had a nice little spot to throw it to. And I just knew that if I could go out and make shots and just keep the ball in front of me, I was going to put some pressure on Billy to make shots as well. And they weren't easy either. They were they were pretty tough. So I I felt good mentally. I was as sharp as a tack, and I was ready to go out and compete and put myself in another position to run down a title. Heading into round two of match play here, we have the round of eight, and in this round, I draw my buddy and one of my best friends, Patrick Dombrowski. Um, coming off that last match, I won't lie to you guys, I was kind of confident. I had a really good look with urethane playing kind of like this jammed shot up 7-8, and nobody else really had that. So going into Pat's match, maybe had a little too much confidence rolling, but uh, I was ready to go compete, that's for sure. However... The way I played the lanes in the match prior against Billy was not how I played the lanes in the match against Pat. They were 
flying. They were absolutely fuego. They were on fire. This pair hooked so much. And unfortunately, I didn't throw that many good shots in practice. And I didn't really see it until about three frames into game one. So this first game of this match, you will see me flounder quite a bit. I ended up getting left very quickly and made a really, really good guess on where to stand and where to throw the ball. And then the rest of this match, I proceeded to just stay left and keep moving left because I don't know what was up with this pair, but it was absolutely on fire and they were just flying. So uh, this match match actually came to be a shootout and uh, was quite a bit of fun. So mentally, I was I was locked in. I saw everything perfectly in my uh, in my head the way the lanes were supposed to be played. However. I wish I would have got off to a better start, but it, it'll be okay, I promise. Um, but mentally, I was ready to go. I was ready to compete. And against Pat, man, who doesn't want to bowl against Pat? Such a good bowler. So let's get into this round of eight. Let's see what we do. How about that? 
Yeah, that, that was kind of cool. That was my fifth PBA 300. That is my first one I've ever shot in match play. And it just happened to be against my buddy Pat Dombrowski. I'm sorry, Pat. I know you still love me, and I know you'll get me at the next one. Uh, heading to this next round, we are now in the round of four, and these are now single game matches. No more best of three. My opponent is Evan Yens. Evan, I hope I said your last name right, and I apologize if I butchered it, brother. But um, Evan's been bowling great all day. And going into this next match, I had a complete open mind to lane play because I just went from one pair that was snot tight to another pair that looked like a house pattern. And so I wasn't going to set my cards on anything in particular. I was going in with an open mind. And sure enough, they were hard again. They got super, super tight, uh, way tighter than our first pair. And in practice, I went, just get nine. It's it's going to take 2-0 to 2-10 to win this match. Don't do anything drastic. Um, I went back to a tank combat. I got to like 7-8, and I just decided just to jam on it and, and get nine. Um, I, I just said, make shots and make him do something heroic because nobody's going to score a big game on this pair. Um, mentally, honestly, I was in a great headspace to do that too because spear shooting was good, and I was putting the ball where it needed to be. So heading to that match, I felt good. I was a little fatigued, I won't lie. My, my thumb was starting to... My thumb was starting to be upset with me, but uh, I was ready to go out and make shots and put together another solid game of bowling. Well, after a long, hard day of work, we find ourselves right where we want to be, and that is bowling for a title against Graham Fa. And for me, this match means a lot. I have looked up to Graham for many, many years. He is honestly one of the most genuine pure dudes you'll ever meet, and it is an honor to get to bowl against him for a title and just bowl with him in general. So for me, this meant a lot. Heading into this match, this pair was just as tight as the last pair with Evan. Um, I didn't have a great look at all with really anything. I decided to go with the tank combat here in the title match only because I felt like I was gonna get nine if I missed, and if I threw it really, really good, I knew it was gonna strike, where everything else I didn't have that much confidence in. So in my mind, I knew that if I wanted to win this title, I was gonna have to make shots. I'm not gonna find a magical ball motion that's gonna bail me out. I knew that if I wanted to win, I was gonna have to beat Graham by making shots. And at this point in time, I knew Graham was throwing it absolutely amazing um but you know what they say never go down without a fight and i was there and i was ready to start swinging
Yeah, I can't believe it. I'll be honest with you guys. This is this is nuts. You know, I, I knew the season was going to be a good season when uh, was it July? No, it would have been August at Coldwater and Coldwater when things really started to click. I knew that I was probably going to put together a good rest of the season because mentally I felt good. I knew I could compete on tougher conditions at higher levels, and so I kind of knew the rest of the season would be pretty good. And then. Um, just with things falling in place in Marengo and in the past couple weeks battling through sickness and injury and just being able to grind and keep myself in contention I kind of knew that if things fell the right way I could probably come home with another win this year and sure enough today was just exactly that um, you know I just got done making a post about this and, and I, I laughed because this is probably the mentally mentally this is probably the hardest tournament I've ever bowled we I mean we we got to bed at about 10 o'clock last night we stayed at our friend's house obviously Austin and Ari thank you our air mattress deflated at 11 o'clock so we moved to the couch and we slept on the couch and I slept for probably three hours we got up at 345 to get ready and come here and then uh, you know qualifying was just really rough but Again, it was one of those things where I, I managed to make my C game good enough to compete and keep me in contention and get me into match play. And then when match play happens, anything anything really can happen. I mean, truthfully, tr truly, wow, I'm tired. <laughs> truly, anything can happen in match play. And we happened to go back to the bag, grab some different rocks, and caught fire uh, through the tank combat the first match against Billy and managed to... Uh, put together actually two really solid games and uh, won that match 2-0 against Pat Dombrowski. Um, I threw the last four to make him uh, step up a mark in the 10th, and unfortunately Pat opened in the first game. He got me in the second game with his patented trip four in the ninth. <laughs> Thanks, Pat. And then in game three, it was really cool. I shot my fifth PBA 300 in game three to, to knock off Pat. Uh, so that was pretty cool. Uh, going in the semifinal round against um, Evan. Evan. Uh, who I love Evan. Evan's awesome. Um, our pair was really squirrely, and I just knew that if I can keep it in front of me, I was going to have a good chance of winning that match just because it, the pairs were getting so tight that just getting nine was probably what we need to do. And so sure enough, in that match, it, it, I won with 190 or 20 to 180. And so, I mean, that went according to his plan. And then in the title match against Graham, I'll be honest with you guys, um, I four pinned, I think in the fifth or sixth frame, and I thought the match was over. I thought Graham was going to steamroll me. And it happened to be that that pair was just as tight on his side of the lane as it was mine. And it came down to me needing a mark to, uh, to win in the 10th. And I, the Lord was there with mm -hmm. me on that shot. I'll just say that because it wasn't the best shot I've thrown, but it, it struck. And, uh, that was cool. Graham means a lot to me. I look up to Graham a lot. I've gotten to bowl with Graham for many, many years now on the regional tour, and I got to watch him win his first major at the Players' Championship. Uh, so Graham holds a, a close, spot, close spot near and dear in my heart when it comes to bowling. He's always a guy I can talk to. He's, he's always somebody I look up to. So getting to compete against Graham for a title um, is awesome, and then it's even better to, to say that I beat him one time because I may not get to do that again. Uh, Graham's a stud. So... A huge shout out and a big thanks to Dave Small. Um, his centers are amazing. And I've wanted one of these watches for the longest time and I finally got one. Uh, so that's really cool. And just a big shout out and a big thanks to everybody back home, especially Travis Ruthruff. Um, he, I was in a pinch on Saturday, Friday, and I had a couple balls I needed punched up for this weekend, and he let me squeak in and use his, his shop and, and get these bowling balls ready. So thank you, Travis. I appreciate it. I actually, that blue coral is what I threw for the 300. So uh, you came in clutch, man. And a uh, big shout out to everybody else back home, mom, dad, family. I mean, I, I, I can go on and on and on about how many people support me and, and help me get to where I am. And I'm just, I, I'm... I can't I can't emphasize enough how blessed the Lord has made my life and just the people who are in it and especially her because she puts up with all my crap <laughs> I cannot believe she's still around but she's got a good heart and uh, I'm happy to have her with me 
So, well, now we got our celebratory donuts because that's what we say we're gonna do. We were gonna get donuts if we won. <laughs> so we got our donuts. We're gonna drive home. We got about two and a half hours, um, and let's start getting ready for the RPI, guys. So, good day, huh? Yeah. All right. Keep everything straight off the hook, guys. See you at the next one. Yeah.